what we're doing today is zip lining. We're gonna go for trees, for the forest. It's gonna be epic. And it's gonna be so much fun. So we're here with Canopy Tours, right in Rotorua. It's the place to go to come and do one of these epic adventures. We are growing up without borders, a family of five traveling to every country in the world. It all began with a five week trip to Europe back in 2013, which then led to us traveling to now six continents and 98 countries. We've been blessed to spend many months here in New Zealand and explored everything from the very top to the very bottom. Are you ready to join the journey? Let's go. Here we go, new adventures today here in Rotorua. Here, oh, here's the guide. Hello. <laughs> Gear it up, good to go. All right, here we go, trekking through the forest onto some zip lines. The tour starts off with a nice little walk through the trails like we're doing here. It's a very dense forest. It's like, the made, it's like the true authentic what it would be like 800 years ago. It's like as if no humans have camped. Yeah. They gear you up too. As you can see, Julia's got a nice warm coat, weatherproof. He says, don't run and jump on the bridge, and it is pretty shaky. I think the girls are shaking it. <laughs> girls. Oh, look at that. So cool. Look at the forest. Oh, my dad. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow, look at how high up we are. That's it. When it's a lot. Yeah, you'll get hot in it. It's wrigglies. You gonna hold it? Yeah. I'll just hold it. So, what you do, you hold your hand nice and flat. And I'll put the worm in your hand and then you'll come and take it. So hold your hand flat. And then you'll come. A worm in her hand. Yeah. Um, which, find a good one. Looks kind of like a kidney, so we call it. Kidney fern. Kidney fern, yeah. Oh, I guessed <laughs> yeah. it right. Yeah, very good. Um, what did they call this? Tree fern. Tree fern, very good. The yeah. tree fern. Tree fern. Um, That's cool. Tree or vine? This is crazy. This is a vine when it's really old. And this is what it looks like when it starts off. Like this tiny little thing right here turns into some big massive vine. How's that even possible? Once upon a time. Um, wow. Today they're all extinct, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. After humans arrived about 150 years later, we lost all nine species. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um. There we go. Put all the clipping on and off. You don't have to do any of the clipping or unclipping here. So no need to worry if you don't know how to clip. Sit down into your harness and then off you go. Okay, here we Beautiful. go. First zip line of the day. Yeah, 
next one is how 50 high? 50 meters high. 50 meters high. Here we go. Like the guitarist videos. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> She's good to go. There's Julia coming at us. Look at what we're doing next. We're gonna walk all along this tree. 50 meters off the ground. Here we go. On the crazy tree walk. Look at this. Holy. Well, this is a first for me. I've never done a crazy tree walk like this. It's just pretty wild. You don't really feel like you're that high up, which is good. So for those of you who are scared of heights, not to worry at all. You're only 50 meters above ground. <laughs> Flying down some crazy ravine if you fall. All right, do you guys know much about the pests we've got in New Zealand? Yes, a little. Um, name some of them for me. Possums. Possum, big one, yep. Possum. Rats. Rats, another big one, yep. Uh, Bats, um, did you say? Bats, there was a Bats little are actually native one? to New Zealand. There was another one, it's like a little one. A weasler? Weasel, yeah, weasel like and stoats, little, yeah, weasels and weasel. ferrets. They're all from the same family, the muscular yep. family. Stoat. Um, and I bet you won't guess our last one, it's quite tricky. Humans. Oh, okay, you got it. <laughs> right. People usually don't get that, so. Uh, yeah, this is it line. So this is our longest one. Yeah. 400 meters. Um, there's two, you may have noticed. So you can race. All right, here the girls are gonna race. You can do a tandem. This is the longest zip line. You gotta cannonball it. So are you guys gonna yell, cannonball! I am. <laughs> yeah, let's hear you scream it. Oh, wait till we go together. So Jenna, do your harnesses. You wanna go on, go. Oh, go, go, go! That was so cool. My favorite zip line, probably. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, climbing up to the top of the ladder for me there. This is how you get on catch. Over here we have Chloe. We're gonna scream cannonball, so is my mom. And over here we have Chantal. Yeah. Another beautiful suspension bridge in the middle of the New Zealand forest. So much fun. I've got a little ping pong ball in there to simulate that egg um, so it doesn't go rotten or anything like that. Um, but basically, I've pulled it up halfway. You guys can hear those traps are pretty lethal because if you catch a stoat, you don't want it going anywhere. <laughs> uh, okay, and um, so the automatic 24 kill and the automatic 12 kill. 
and these guys are designed in New Zealand so for New Zealand pests they're really amazing um, and they're very humane um, so this one here this is the rat trap um, and what happens is the animal will come up and sniff a bait that's up the top here so usually there's chocolate paste in here and then an animal will sniff this chocolate and it'll come running up and brush past this trigger wire that sets off this CO2 canister uh, that fills these chambers here and then this rod goes really quickly into the back of the animal's head and um, that spring allows it to reset oh there we go <laughs> uh, and the animal will drop out the bottom there it's a trapping line and on every mm. trapping line if you walk 50 meters you'll find a rat trap if you walk 100 meters you'll find a possum trap which is fantastic and um, we've got 700 of those traps in our forest um, plus a couple more of these stoke boxes that we still use are really good um, and we're seeing amazing results. So what's really cool about canopy tours as well is they actually educate you about their forest and about their native life. Yeah. Um, and what's cool is they like regenerated also because the possum used to destroy certain you know plants and trees and for example come over here how it used to look and then how it regenerated like certain trees and leaves and all that. And this is what we're doing this course here and this is the there's all this forest too. It's so so we're in this tiny area of this entire forest. So when you sign up for this they ask you if you can walk up six flights of stairs because that's how you end the walk. So make sure you're in shape if you want to do this. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Oh, this, this is like... <laughs> um, so guys, this moment is a pretty special one. Um, right now you're all standing around a tree that's 800 to 1,000 years old. Wow. So this guy, believe it or not, predates our human history in this country since we were found so um, recently. <laughs> this one you actually go through the trees almost like a tunnel. Whoa, have fun. So such a cool experience coming here to Canopy Tours. Not only was it like really fun and thrilling, but we learned so much about the native trees and the animals and preserving the nature here. And it was just like amazing. The tour guides were super great, kept us very safe, which is always good.